some Pelicanos in Brighton. Uh, and my favourite coffee shop. It's really nice and quirky and interesting. Lots of cosy corners and, and um, interesting chalkboards and wood, wooden, wooden slats on the walls and stuff. I think I'm just going round. Everyone's gone now, so I've had to make a video. Yeah. Practice my panning skills. <laughs> There's no one here. Now. The sun's gone in now. I oh, know it's come out again, but the uh, lighting's got to be a bit of a blank water. But, um, to try the different seats. If I can get some of the chalkboard in next time. <laughs> yeah, nice music here. Really nice people who work there. Really delicious cake. Just try and get some footage of the cake, but there's loads of people downstairs, so it's a bit embarrassing. There's another room on the floor as well, but it was really overexposed, the sun was really blowing in. Uh, yeah, it's a bit boring, isn't it? It's a little bit my ugly mug, but. You know the <laughs> Inspired now. <gasps> I mean, I think, I think. Really pressed off and so um, <laughs> deep pause, deep pause. Yeah, um, I'm hoping to do other coffee shops in Brighton because I love coffee shops and I love, um, love Brighton, <laughs> as you know. I love quirky, you know, cozy and. And uh, it's quite a nice press actually as well, and that's not cosy at all, it's the opposite, it's big and open, but it's really nicely laid out somehow, I like it in there. So there's that one as well, I'm eyeing a few up, you know, but I have to get used to doing it, you know, embarrassment of it, and, um, you know, I don't have a handheld camera at all, I know the people mind and stuff, you know. Yeah, it's tricky stuff at the moment. <laughs> Hello, I'm going to try and show you outside. See the shops across the road. Ooh, a bit overexposed now. You see what that would turn out like. <laughs> I'll get really bored. Yes. 
see the bow beside me. I've got a photo of me and Tim came here one year and uh, sat outside. They've got all seats, wooden slatted tables and seats outside. It's quite nice. The, it's a bit of a sun trap, I suppose. This street, Sydney Street, and um, yeah, I've put it on my Instagram as well. I've put my Instagram going, upload some photos there. Mm. Yeah, one thing I can talk about is the intermittent fasting. <clears> How <throat> oh, that's been going. It's been, um, yesterday was hell, but I kept going, I kept going, but it was absolute hell. Really, really hungry, really upset, and stuff crying. <laughs> And uh, today was really hard, but I got to, you know, a good long way, past 12 hours anyway, not quite a 13 hour, 40 that I try and do, but yeah, I managed to, and I look so much better and I feel better afterwards, and I've got no more kidney stone thing, no, not just kidney stone, it's all stone, and I thought I might have pain going on, so that's good. <laughs> so it's like... And also the day before when I was having a really bad time, I just had a really bad day all day. It just felt awful emotionally and stuff. Yeah. I think it might be due to what I've eaten actually, because I've had the day before I had this um corn, you know, Q O R N corn um dish. And it's quite fatty and Seeing blood type A, I can't digest the fat, but also I think it's, it's very, very sweet as well, really sugary and sweet. And uh, I think that messed with my system really badly. The next day I was awful, so and then the day after I was better. So it's like, it's like good day, bad day, good day, bad day, sort of thing. So if you're having a really bad day at the moment, you know, it's like this too shall pass, kind of thing. Time that moves on. And you, because when you're stuck in that bad feeling, oh my god, it seems like the end of the world, like you're never going to get your life sorted, and you know what I mean, you're all doom and gloom and you know, spiralling down from the thoughts you can have, so you know, don't give up hope, don't despair, next, you know, time moves on, you do feel better the next day, you know. your body chemistry changes from the start overnight, you know, every day is a new day and a chance to, you know, things will get better, you know. <laughs> That's my thing, isn't it? encouraging people to keep going. Yeah, today and like the, the previous day before I had the really bad day, I was feeling really good and excited all day because the intermittent fasting worked really well. I had really good effect on me, and now I can do it. I feel in control of my life, kind of thing, and you know, hopeful and excited. My energy is really, really good. I mean, I just want to get work done. I want to sort sort everything out, you know, it feels so good. And then um, I had a really bad day, and now today I'm swinging between, <laughs> it's like, I'm in a sort of a neutral kind of state, and then I suddenly feel excited for a while, I remember that feeling excited kind of thing, it's like, get a blip up, you know, and it's kind of thing like that today. Just had an idea to take a photo of the, um, the cakes and the, uh, the menu board, and I'll put it on Instagram perhaps. <laughs> I'll get my blog going. Oh, why am I creating extra work for myself? Why? <laughs> Not a good idea, but I'm going to have a go anyway. Here we go. See you later. See you in the next vlog or next cafe of interest, hopefully. Bye.